Hey guys, Brenda New Productions here. Um, I actually had a uh, complaint from my friend uh, Derek on my last video on uh, how to uh, how to play old text-based games in your Windows machine. His complaint: Well, there was no pictures. So you know what? I'm going to show you guys a good website to uh, actually get these text-based games and get a whole bunch of other ones too. I was actually browsing this site so you can see uh, the games I've been browsing, but it, the uh, the site's called Ab Abandonware, and this is actually AbandonwareDOS.com. Now what you can do is actually look for uh, different types of games. So for example, I want an adventure game uh, with text only. Um, and then it sorts it, or you could sort it. Um, I'm going to sort it by rating. And it looks like Sleuth, a murder mystery, is the top one. Uh, click on that one, and then we can download the game. But uh, my friend just wanted a game with pictures. So you know what? I'm going to show you a good game with pictures right now. So we're going to go to Adventure, and then Text with Images. And sort it by rating. And it uh, looks like Spellcasting 301 Spring... I don't know, that sounds really weird. Okay, let's try Transylvania. I haven't tried this. This was made in 1986, as it says. Uh, we're just going to download the game. Open it with 7-Zip File Manager. Whoa. And extract all the files to C. Tran. Alright, I haven't tried this one before, so bear with me. Then we're going to open up DOSBox like we did in our last video. And uh, actually get the program loaded up here. So we're going to mount R with C Tran. Then we're going to switch to drive R. We're going to get a list of all the files and find the executable. Looks like it is a uh, novel, so we're we're going to run novel. Okay, um, well that didn't like me. Let's try this again. novel.exe this time. Okay, um, this game still doesn't like me, but, um, you know what? L let's, let's get a different game, actually. I actually downloaded a game and I was playing it previously. It looks pretty cool, and, uh, so I'm just gonna load up that game right now. It's called, I don't really know what it's called, actually. I forgot already, but... Okay, this is embarrassing. <laughs> Alright, it seems to be called Doom. Doom is the folder. Okay, then we're going to go to A and type Doom. Alright, oh, it's called Crack of Doom. Alright, and as you can see, there are pictures. So, my friend Derek, you better uh, be crying in uh, wonder right now because there's pictures. But as you can see, as you open up the game, there is actually a dead body right here. So, it's a nice opening. Uh, do you want pictures? Of course. So Sam was on a broad, uneven staircase which twists up through the rocks to the tower of Sirith Ungol. Sirith Ungol. Okay, so he loses the stairs. This is the tower. I'm going to press enter. I'm going to go north. Sam is inside a huge stone gateway which runs through the walls of the sinister fortress. Okay, so it looks like this is some weird bird thing and so is it. Okay. Uh, the walls are pockmarked with arrow slits and spy holes. Sam's heart pounds loudly in his chest. A pair of sinister statues. Let's keep going north. And as you can see, this one, uh, this one has a nicer interface, too. It tells me, I am Sam, up at the top, and then it gives me my output, and then this is my little input bar down here. But I can't go north, because, uh, one of the sinister statues stops me, so let's go south. Oh, south... And then uh, let's go s north again. And, uh, let's go south. Obviously, we can't go this way, so we're actually going to go east this time. Uh, I'm trudging through a deep, rocky pass. Let's keep going east. 
Sam is walking along a ragged path which winds its way down a mountain pass. Looks kind of scary. All right. Um, let's keep going east. Sam is walking along a rugged path which descends down into the land of Mordor. Oh, there's water. Let's keep going. Oh, I can't go that way anymore. Let's go west then. No, let's go north. Okay. Sam is struggling through rough terrain of cracked rock and sliding stones. The hilltops are rare, or barren, barren. East land drops down in the shore. Sam can go. Okay. Sam hears the harsh yammer of orcish voices. Raise an argument. The voices get closer. Oh my. Okay. Oh! Sam waits, wondering what to do next. Time passes. The little black orc and enormous muscular orc come into view. The big orc is cursing and hitting the little one. Oh no. Oh no. Um, I'm just gonna stop. Oh my goodness. The little black orc attacks Sam with a jagged knife. The little black orc s swings wildly at Sam and misses. The enormous muscular orc attacks Sam with a short, broad-headed spear. The enormous muscular orc swings at Sam and lands a hit. Alright, I'm gonna kill orc. Come on. Sam attacks the enormous muscular orc. Sam lashes out at the enormous muscular orc. Slashes the little black orc. Oh. Uh, kill orc. Kill orc. Oh. Oh my gosh. Sam slumps to the ground, jerks once, and dies. Okay, well, as you can see, this game is a little more action-y than the uh, last one, and it does have some, some pictures going on. So I died, but, you know. Um, but then it gives you a nice option to restart the game, so I'm just not going to restart the game. And uh, there you guys have it, a text-based game with pictures, and the link to this awesome website to get old old games is uh, in the description. So... Yeah. Enjoy yourself, uh, children. Alright, thanks for watching. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and uh, enjoy your day.